Good morning, Windsor High School. Today is May 11th, 2020. I'm Lexon Schmidt. I'm Steven. And, and this, this is, is your, your Windsor, Windsor High School, High School Video, Video Bulletin. Bulletin. Hey Jags, last week's Fit Check Week went amazing. Thank you to everybody who responded throughout the week. This week, our Spirit Week theme is Families, featuring all of our Windsor High School families. To kick it off with Media Monday, the theme is your favorite fictional family. So go on over to WHS Updates on Instagram and submit your favorite fictional TV show or movie family to the Instagram story. Please make sure when you submit your responses that you specify which TV show or movie your favorite family is from and submit your responses by 3 p.m. today. And this week's TikTok Tuesday theme is family. So make a TikTok featuring one of your family members or maybe all of them and DM that to the WHS Updates Instagram account or email it to the Windsor HS Leadership Gmail account by 3 p.m. on Tuesday. Last week's Senior Spotlight was amazing and we loved to feature all of our seniors and congratulate them on their graduation as well as their college acceptances. This week to go along with our family theme, we'd love to hear about all about our seniors from the parents. So if you're a parent with a WHS senior and you'd like to tell us more about them, please send us a parent dedication by Wednesday at 3 p.m. into our DMs on Instagram at WHS updates or email us at WindsorHSLeadership at gmail.com because we'd love to hear from our parents this week. So this week is all about families. So teachers and staff, please send in a photo or a video of you and your family in quarantine doing something really cool or just relaxing too. And don't forget, pets are definitely a part of the family. Hey everyone, as you just heard from Anna Whiteley, next week's theme is going to be all about your families. For What's Up Windsor, we want to see a photo or video of your guys' favorite family memory. This could be anything from going on vacation or doing a puzzle in the living room. Remember to keep in mind for each of these spirit days that we need your guys' video and photo submissions by 3 p.m. the day the video is going up. Remember, if you want to be featured in this week's episode of What's Up Windsor, make sure to send in your crazy and fun family memories. We can't wait to see them. Have a great week, Jags. And now, here are some news from the Counseling Department. May 15th is the deadline to submit all dual enrollment forms for SRJC summer classes. Please check in with your counselor with any questions. Seniors who are in Odyssey, stay focused and keep working hard. You got this. Seniors need to log on to their Naviance account and complete the mandatory Class of 2020 Senior Exit Survey by Friday, May 15th. And here's a reminder, counselors continue to be available via email or our Zoom office hours. Please drop them a message and join them if any help or support is needed. Here's a feature on Mr. James. Production began before mandatory shelter orders, which accounts for all closed footage. Uh, my name is Jamie James. I'm a science teacher here at Windsor. I teach uh, conceptual physics, physics, and chemistry. Chemistry I took it in high school, and I really fell in love with chemistry. Went on into college. I uh, majored in chemical engineering, graduated in uh, 1973, moved down to Los Angeles and uh, ran some large chemical factories. And then when I decided to retire, I, I, I was driving my wife nuts, so I uh, decided to work part-time and teach. And I enjoy it, I love it. Decided to go to Harvard uh, to get my MBA in 1983, about 10 years after my graduation from uh, Davis. You're in that, that institution and it's, it's an awesome feeling just being around the intellect that's there. There must be more than one way or one right answer and uh, I think that's the biggest thing I learned there. It was easily the most uh, rewarding, satisfying and pleasurable 
educational experience I ever had. I try to use a style of, um, of having fun. Treat the students as adults. You guys are very close to adults if you aren't already. So why should I treat you like kids? Uh, you need to learn how to, how to make your own decisions, act properly. I try to present good, interesting, fun material uh, that um, satisfies the, uh, the state requirements. Our AP classes have faced a particular challenge in preparing for the May AP exams. Here's more on what they're doing. So preparing for AP exams has definitely been different um, since they're open now, shorter, and you're taking them at home. Um, so I think the biggest thing for me has just been making sure I have easy access to my notes, but to make them condensed in a way that I can still know the knowledge, but be able to be prepared for um, the way that the exams are being taken this year. I think because the, the tests have been compressed so much, like, Time-wise, I have to look a little bit more thematic instead of um, focusing on uh, really specific details, which is, I guess, a little bit easier, but, um, you know, you, you have to know your stuff still. They're going to have to take this test online at home, and the whole year we've been prepping using the, the usual format that was going to be our test, but now instead of 100 multiple choice and two FRQs, which is free responses, it's just two free responses. Traditionally, the AP English exam consists of two main parts, the multiple, an hour-long multiple choice section and then three essays that are 40 minutes each. Uh, this year, the test has been pared down to one 50-minute essay uh, on one prompt. It puts a different type of pressure on students. You know, students are now taking the test at home. There's a timer that's featured right on the screen to let them know how much time they have remaining during the test, which I think creates its own pressure. Um, and then it's just, you know, it's basically all your eggs in one basket. You know, you have one essay, you have one shot uh, to pass the exams. So, you know, that's a pretty drastic change. And that, that took a lot of kind of re-examination on my part to figure out, you know, where to prioritize and and to kind of shift my focus just on that particular prompt. I mean, it's been a different experience because I feel like in some ways this, the end of the AP class is the most important where teacher-student work together so I can review their portfolio, I can help them place it in the right order where it's weakest to strongest, and I can help with their statement. And I'm trying to do that, but it's like we're so disconnected. I'm very blessed to have the, the amount of participation and the amount of them willing to, you know, give me a chance with trying to figure out how to review best for them online and I'm throwing resources at them like left and right, but it's not the same as being in a class. I've been so uh, um, heartened by how flexible and adaptive the students have been and how positive they've been. Uh, students continue to show up to Zoom meetings. Um, you know, even after the announcement about grades. I just think the biggest thing is like our teachers during this time, um, like my AP teachers have been really on top of things and working their hardest to give us the best possible opportunity to pass the test. Um, and so it's been really nice knowing that they're supporting us and they're just as dedicated as we are to taking these tests, so. Mr. Sullivan and Ms. Williams gave out the awards and lawn signs for our Athletes of the Year, featured two weeks ago in the video bulletin. A few teammates, coaches, and even some neighborhood friends made a parade celebration out of it. When things changed around us, we adapt and still find ways to show our Jaguar pride. Congratulations, Senior Athletes of the Year. As things rapidly change with COVID-19, what WHS Sports will be doing in the fall or next year will be communicated fastest on social media through the Windsor Athletics page. Follow Windsor Athletics on Instagram. And now here's a feature we like to call Mild with Mackie. All right, so this thing that we're doing right here, right now is called Mild with Mackie. I basically do an interview and then we eat like a weird food. Today, we're having donuts with different quirky fillings. And I'm I- excited. Yes, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Okay, cheers. Oh. 
Is it's cheese? <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's spray cheese. I knew and it was And it's, it's not bad. It's like pretty good, actually. It's got like this salty sweet thing going on. We were part of a group called the Three Musketeers in Cross Country. What's that all about? <laughs> there are three of us in Cross Country who tend to run together. Well, now in track two. And that's myself, Hunter Larson, and Dustin Smith. Mm -hmm. um, and we just sort of started doing that because we ran at around the same pace in practices uh -huh. and then in meets. This is the next one. I don't think it's gonna go as well as the last one did. Okay, you All ready? Right. You yeah, cheers right. again? Cheers. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one. Is this hummus? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I was not prepared for that. <laughs> Next question. Do you think that you're better than everyone else because you're an AP? I'll say no, I don't feel better than everyone else because I'm an AP. Mm -hmm. But do you feel better than everyone else in general? Uh, no comment at this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have the next one. Cheers. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Gosh, is this like a like an uncooked tamale or something? <laughs> like a, no, they no, don't put like red a, sauce no, in tamales. No, you're right, no, it's like a... This is pizza sauce. You just liquefied a pizza oh, right. and put it inside a donut. Yeah, pretty much. What do you usually think about while running? When I'm racing, often I'm thinking about, like at the beginning, I start out thinking about, you know, how I'm gonna move up, where I need to go to like get around people and mm -hmm. avoid getting kicked in the shins. <laughs> And then towards, Does that happen? Uh, yeah, and people wear spikes in their feet, so it hurts. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then towards the end of the race, it just kind of fragments, mm -hmm. random images, <laughs> disjointed song lyrics, just stuff <laughs> tumbling through my mind as I'm like just trying to hold it together for the last little bit of the race. Okay. So this one, this one, we're gonna go through a journey here. Cheers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god. What is that? I don't even know, man. It's baby food. Oh. <laughs> and specifically, it's chicken noodle baby food. Chicken noodle baby food. Yeah. I thought that'd be kind of distinct, but I guess not. My next question is, who do you think is the better Landon out of Landon McAllister and Landon Race? In the field of uh, broadcast journalism. Mm -hmm. and video bulletinmanship. Yeah. I think the other Landon has me beat by a fairly significant margin. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, in sort of the context we're talking about, I do think I could take him at the 1600. <laughs> I think you could too. And now the last one. Oh, it's oh. been a journey, Landon. I cannot wait. What's it? Where's the This hole? is oh. actually a treat because it's just a regular jelly donut. Well, okay. Cheers. Well, I'm glad this was you have a handshake. You. you have a good day. I will. And if that wasn't enough hot ones, catch Mr. Beale survive 10 rounds where he discloses moments of his life. Here's some highlights and the YouTube link. Air <laughs> around his eyes. <laughs> I'm scared, but excited. <laughs> Stephen King stayed in room 223, two, second floor, and the, ha and the hotel is definitely haunted. Um, lots of crazy stuff happened, and of course I was all alone from 11 at night to 7 in the morning, so all the weird stuff was happening. Um, oh. Is it true you played basketball against Barack Obama in high school? I, I reached the wrong napkin. Oh yeah. You <laughs> I'm cleaning all the wings. That's it for now. Reminder, just keep reaching out to your friends and teachers. Keep up with your classes and stay positive. Remember to follow WHS updates on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we'll see, and we'll you, see you next week. week.